Hi everyone, I'm Scott Weaver. I'm the Makerspace Coordinator at the Orchard School and I'm gonna share a project with you that I tried to film as best I could that shows what I think is the best of what the Makerspace has to offer. We started off uh, as a middle school club trying to build this coffee table and it became more than we bargained for, kind of in a good way. We just got more detailed along the way and I had to enlist the help of other kids. So I had sixth graders who did some scaling for us um, I had fourth graders come and they were here for another project so we ended up using them to put together the boards and orient them before glue up. It just was really cool to see all the way from one end of the school all the way up to the other in a highly collaborative process for this really nice table. And so I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, enjoy what we have to offer at the Makerspace. These boys are moving some cherry wood that's been drying for several years. This came from a tree that fell on Orchard's property. Next, we're planing it down to the proper thickness. And then Claire's gonna do some math to figure out how long we should cut these boards. After she does that, Mrs. Belmont's fourth grade class came in and they cut them to a rough length using a jigsaw. Then we have a biscuit joiner which is a tool used for alignment. You put in the little slots and those little biscuits help keep the wood aligned properly. Then it's time for glue up and clamping. And then we have a bigger board. It's ready for our project. The sixth graders are doing tiny homes right now and they're learning about scaling. And so we scaled a map down to the wood and they're able to trace the map onto the wood. Then we have some kids working on a base that Mr. Peterson was able to save before it went to the dump. We sanded it, wiped it down, and spray painted it with a matte black finish. Time to get the old wood off. And then it's time for all the routing. So we have a little lesson on the Great Lakes and making sure everything is correct. We're changing the bit, putting the right bit in, and after everything's ground out, we can start pouring epoxy in. Epoxy is kind of tricky, so you want to make sure you get it right the first time. And after you pour it, you got to add a little bit of heat to make the bubbles rise out. And so a little blowtorch action gets it all shiny and smooth. Then we let the sander do its magic. And we decided to add some logos. So we scroll sawed, we used a scroll saw and a spindle sander to get the little circle logos that'll go on the side of the table. And then we got the pre-K students in and no one's better at finger painting than them. So it was a perfect opportunity to let them rub on some of this uh, non-toxic hard wax oil, which is a really fun product to use. We did the back first and then flipped it over to the front. And it just looks really awesome when the oil goes over the epoxy. It's almost finished. Renzo's gonna grind out the corners on these brackets here. Watch the sparks fly, it's kind of always fun. Then we're gonna hand screw on the base bring it into the studio time for a little card game and nella with the win all right everyone that's our video thanks for watching we uh ended up taking that table to the orchard auction which raised money for all the unique programs that orchard has to offer and to have kids in my makerspace club and and kids across the whole school be a part of that is pretty awesome and unique in and of itself so Thanks for watching and stay tuned to future projects.